Shots are being fired at Houthi missiles and drones in the Red Sea. The French Navy has been conducting this operation since December 2023. We've been invited to watch the action on board this warship. It's the first alert of the day. Off the coast of Yemen, this French frigate is accompanying commercial ships to protect them from attacks by Houthi rebels, a political and military organization. The sailors are calm and collected. We've just been informed that a ballistic missile has been launched. This information was passed on to us. So at the beginning, we just have an azimuth. In other words, a point of departure, without knowing where the missile is headed. But with a bit of time, we then figure out where it's heading. That's why, by default, we apply all the self-defense measures to protect ourselves and the ship we're accompanying. The threat was quickly diffused. The strike was targeting Israel and the Houthis claimed responsibility. Almost daily we see ballistic missiles being fired and drones flying. So the area is sensitive and we have to constantly be vigilant. But we've now been here for a few months, so we're on alert and we're prepared. We can't be taken by surprise. The Houthis have been targeting commercial ships in what they say is a campaign of solidarity with Palestinians during Israel's war in Gaza. In practice, all ships can be targeted on this vital maritime route that connects East Africa, Asia and the Mediterranean. The Red Sea, which links the Gulf of Aden to the Suez Canal, usually facilitates 30% of global container traffic. However, according to the UN, the number of container ship transits in the area have dropped by 67% in recent months. The EU has launched Operation Aspedes to secure routes from Houthi attacks, deploying warships to protect commercial vessels, like this Italian one. This ship has switched off its automatic identification system, the AIS, to disappear. So we're going to accompany it by getting very close to it, so that it can enter our bubble of protection that will keep it safe. The most dangerous threats in the area are the missiles. There are anti-ship vessels and ballistic missiles with a bell-shaped trajectory. And then there are also drone threats. Since November, at least 15 ships have been hit, including Rubimar, which is gradually sinking and risks leaking thousands of tons of fertilizer into the Red Sea. To identify potential Houthi threats, the warship's helicopter is being sent to patrol the area. But what was supposed to be a routine mission quickly turns into an emergency operation. In a matter of seconds, the sailors are ready. The helicopter changes mission and begins its hunt for the kamikaze drone. The helicopter spots the Houthi drone. It's targeting a commercial vessel. The sailors try to contact the crew. The ship doesn't respond. The drone is getting closer. So an emergency message is sent. Security, security, security. All ships, all ships, all ships. This is Coalition Warship on Channel 16. Multiple UAVs have been detected in position 14 degrees, 52 minutes north. 041 degrees, 48 minutes east. 
It is requested that all ships maintain at least 10 nautical miles of this position in for their own safety. The drone nearly hits the ship. The helicopter is ordered to open fire. That's bon. Je parle pas de it's the first time that a Navy helicopter has successfully destroyed a suicide drone. <laughs> this time, the helicopter's machine gun was enough. There was no need to use the ship's missiles or its cannon. But the respite was short-lived. <laughs> The next morning, the frigate destroyed three missiles before safely accompanying the commercial ship through the Red Sea. Since the beginning of this crisis, the French Navy has fired 22 missiles against Houthi attacks. The last time it took part in an operation of this intensity was during the 2011 military intervention in Libya.